Kentuckians voted in favor of a new victim's rights law last night, but it may never go into effect. Walter Smith Randolph joins us now to explain why it is on hold. Walter? Yeah, Cammy, uh, Marcy's law is essentially a bill of rights for victims. It was approved here in Ohio last year. Kentucky voters approved it last night, but because of the ballot language, it's facing some challenges, and now its fate is in the hands of the Kentucky Supreme Court. Are you in favor of providing constitutional rights to victims of crime? 63% of Kentucky voters said yes to this constitutional amendment proposed by State Senator Whitney Westerfield. Right now, the victims are not on an equal footing with the accused. I believe they should be. But because of a court challenge, Marcy's law may not become law. Kate Miller with the ACLU of Kentucky says the ballot language is too vague. The question is written in such a way that I think most individuals would automatically agree, of course, we should support victims and survivors of crime. The ACLU says Marcy's law is well intended, but puts the presumption of innocence at risk. The fundamental rights afforded to an individual who's been accused of a crime are some of the most important rights that we have as Americans, and they have to be upheld and um, rigorously defended. Marcy's law guarantees victims 10 rights, including victims having the right to restitution, the right to be present at trial, and the right to be heard at certain court proceedings. Advocates of the law, like Melissa Buchanan, whose brother was murdered, say it will help victims navigate the court system. Victims are just regular people. The justice system is made up of lawyers, law enforcement, and judges, and full of complicated procedures and legal jargon. It's very intimidating. And I do think that Marcy Saw is very well intended, but given the serious and complicated nature of the policies laid out within Marcy's law, um, certainly I think that the question should have been more detailed and provided more information for voters. So you're probably wondering what happens next. Well, the Kentucky Supreme Court will have to vote on whether Marcy's law can be added to the state's constitution. Cammie, that could happen next month when the Kentucky Supreme Court meets again. All right. Thank you, Walter. Marcy's law was already on the books in five states, including Ohio. Five more approved it last night.